In this video, we are going to write x is equal to t cubed minus 2t squared and y is equal to t over t, uh, t over 2 sorry, as a single Cartesian equation. So, following on from the previous videos, uh, we can see that there are some restrictions here. Um, in this case, if we look at x is equal to t cubed minus 2t squared, even thinking or trying to rearrange that to get t equals uh, we can see that it is just impossible, okay? And it actually is. It's, it, you cannot write it as t equals uh, a, a just a function of x. So in that way, we cannot rearrange that one to get it in terms of t equals and then substitute it into this one uh, to write it as a Cartesian equation. So we have to start with this one. We have to write y is equal to t over 2 as t equals 2y. And then we're going to have to substitute that into the first equation. So we're going to get x equals t cubed, so 2y cubed. Take away two lots of 2y squared. So I would probably expand this one out um, and write it as 8 y cubed, take away um, two lots of 4y squared, so 8y squared. And I'd probably leave it like that, OK? Um, so in the previous video, we saw that you could be led into thinking that maybe we could square root and bring about plus minus and use that. But in this case, there was directly no way of starting with that one and getting to that one. And what you could imagine is that there are going to be some, I mean, if I, um, if I wrote down like x is equal to t cubed minus 2t squared, so we stay with the same one for x, but then I wrote y as something like 4t squared minus 3t to the 4, Okay, there will be no way of me rearranging either of those two equations to get t is equal to just a function of x or just a function of y to substitute into the other. There would be no way of writing these as a, Carte a single Cartesian equation. Okay, so there are limits on the algebra. Okay, that are you know we cannot change. So from this, however. There may be other little tricks that we could use, and we're going to see that in the next video.